Screening for conditions causing sudden cardiac death is a very controversial topic in the United Kingdom. However, my personal feeling is that all young people should have the facility to be screened for conditions causing sudden cardiac death to protect themselves. Let's talk about the cynic's point of view. These conditions are rare. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy has a prevalence of 1 in 500. ARVC has a prevalence of 1 in 1,000. Brigada has a prevalence of 1 in 5,000. So why should we be screening for such rare conditions? Because when we look around us, most deaths occur in people who are 60 and 70. In fact, we see 120,000 deaths from coronary artery disease in the UK per year. But we only see 600 or 700 deaths in young people, so surely we should be putting all our money into the older population and forgetting about this young, small number that die. If we consider that the population of the United Kingdom is 60 million, then based on our current estimate of the prevalence of these disorders, there are 600,000 people in the United Kingdom that are affected with one of these disorders. If we consider further that one third of our population is aged 0 to 35, then there are 200,000 people out there aged between 0 and 35 who harbour a potentially fatal condition that could cause sudden death. Now, I think that's an important problem. Let's take into account the 600 or 700 sudden deaths we see in young people in the United Kingdom per annum. The average age of those deaths is about 16 years. If you assume that most people who live in the United Kingdom will live to at least 80 years of age, a young person dying at the age of 16 has lost 64 years of life. If we take into account that there are 600 such deaths, I've worked out that there are about 127,000 life years lost in one year. 127,000 life years lost. That is the same as saying that there will be about 9,000 people today who are aged 80 that will not make 81 next year. And when you say it like that, it sounds like a major health problem. But people don't see it like that. They see it as a number. Only 500 versus 100,000. I think we should see this as life years lost. There is a, a huge number of life years lost, not to mention the potential and the service that this youth could give this country. We're not talking about an octogenarian dying. We're talking about a 16-year-old who could give so much back who has lost a life. The government is currently prepared to spend £10,000 per year on a heart failure patient, bearing in mind that these patients are aged over 75, to give them one life year back. One life year back. That equates to, a, they should be prepared to spend £128 million per year to give these lives back, yet they're not prepared to spend any money on screening. So if the government can't do it, I think certain charitable organisations have to take it upon themselves to educate, to raise awareness of conditions that cause sudden death. Of course, this can open up a set of, uh, this can open up a can of worms because if you educate and raise awareness of sudden death, you will create fear, fright, worry. Then there has to be a go this way sign as well. Worried, concerned, got the symptoms, no problems. We'll check this out for you. We'll make sure that you're okay. If you're not okay, we will make sure, we make sure that you become okay, we'll treat you. And that's what Cardiac Risk in the Young has been doing for the last few years. They've been raising awareness, they've been promoting screening, but it doesn't stop there. When we identify a problem, we deal with it effectively and quickly. And I think this service should be available to everybody. Anybody that wants it should get it. Currently, if you or I, I'm, I'm too old, but you look, look a lot younger than me, but... Uh, if you or I have symptoms and we go to our GP, we're too young. Oh, probably nothing. It's probably just muscular pains. You don't need to be checked out. You're not, over, you're not over 50. You haven't got high blood pressure or diabetes, so you probably have nothing wrong with you. It shouldn't be like that. You should be able to say, look, I want to be checked out. I'm worried I could have a serious cardiac problem. 